Well, it looks like 343 busted the ranking system with the recent update, and we had a big event happen with Halo Infinite over the weekend, which seemed to really provide a nice shot in the arm when it comes to the population of Halo Infinite, as well as it looks like we have a big week when it comes to the mid-February update and what's going to come around with that. If you guys want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helped out the video channel within that infamous YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So you heard me right. It sounds like the ranking system right now in Halo Infinite is kind of messed up ever since that recent update that was supposed to help out with the whole desync and lag compensation issue that we talked about in a previous video. Our best buddy over here, Patman Gaming, kind of tweeted this out originally uh, during the week, saying that like, why is he gaining? You know, he's an Onyx tier player. Like a, you know, it, uh, it's it's a low Onyx, but it's an Onyx. <laughs> uh, but he's you know he's getting bronze and gold players in his lobbies when he's you know playing with Onyx players. He is an Onyx player himself. You can see these scores are here very one-sided. Uh, definitely not meant to be matching with these people. And other people in Halo have been experiencing this as well. A Reddit user shared one of their games and used, utilizing Halo Tracker right here. You can kind of see the game that what pretty much got the match with which the eagle team had a 100 percent chance of winning this game which now looking at this matchmaking you kind of see why with a bunch of onyx players with even a 2000 tier onyx player on the eagle team and then on cobra you got a platinum a diamond two and a silver one matching against a guy who's in onyx 2000 i mean the highest ranked guy you hear has a diamond two so yeah something's not going on. Something's not right here. Another example you can see here, we have an Onyx, a Diamond, a Gold, and a Silver. I think all you're missing right here is a Bronze player within this lobby, which this again, this doesn't make any sense. You match against Formal. Like you have a Silver Six matching against Formal, like one of the best Halo players out there. That should not be happening. And I know right now I'm sounding like a broken record, but this is like happening throughout Halo. Another prominent pro, Royal 2, recently released from jail, did pretty well within the Anaheim event, which we'll talk about later in this video, where he's a, you know, 2200 level Onyx, gets a gold four, a bronze four, and a gold five, matching against a guy who's unmatched, a diamond one, gold two, and gold three. This is just not how this rank system is supposed to work out at all. But Unishek from 343 did happen to say a little something about this. The Twitter account of Halo Data Hive, they share a lot of Halo like, API kind of information, which is pretty interesting. If you want to give them a follow, definitely want to go do that. And basically here showcasing the same kind of issues that everyone else is having with the rank system that it's just all over the place right now. And actually community manager Unishek was here saying, thanks for the tag. I'm seeing a few of these reports and will ask the team to take a look. Please feel free to keep sending over examples. Good to see that 343 does recognize this issue. Though the problem is like, how does this kind of issue come up? Like, yeah, like the rank system wasn't like perfect and the matchmaking wasn't perfect, but I would say like a, you know, an 85%, 90% pretty good job. And right now it just seems like completely pointless to even play rank where I'm seeing matches like this happen. I, mean, I don't want to jump into a, like a ranked lobby and then like get matched with bronze players and then lose my onyx tier because i'm a low onyx but i finally got there you know so uh hopefully this is able to be fixed up rather quickly hopefully within this week hopefully this little patch gets piggybacked onto the mid february update which we're gonna be getting here most likely this week which we do have some information about as well if you guys don't know there was a big halo event that happened this weekend it was the north american regional finals kind of a event right now for halo infinite and you'll never guess but Cloud9 walked away as the champions for this event again. Uh, they haven't lost anything since Raleigh. They have been an unstoppable force. You cannot stop these guys. Now the, now the cracks in the armor, I think, kind of showed within this Anaheim event. And it definitely seems that like some teams are trying to figure out the meta a little bit more when it comes to playing Halo Infinite, which is great to see. I definitely like to see a little bit more competition when it comes to these games. It seems like uh, with Halo Infinite or just Halo in general, since Halo 5, that uh, like one team seems to dominate and everybody else is trying to play catch up with them, which we definitely saw a lot more techniques being utilized within uh, this Anaheim event compared to Raleigh, which Raleigh was just came out like what? two weeks after the launch of the game. So most people were just like, I don't know, shoot all the things and stuff like that. And so you can't imagine like everyone being able to be too effective in the game, but 
What came along with this Raleigh event was something really awesome. Was It felt like a nice shot in the arm in the popularity of Halo Infinite right here because I took the screenshot where it showcased Halo Infinite was number four on Twitch, only behind Lost Ark, which is like a new MMO that just launched. And it does look pretty cool. I played it a little bit. It's really fun, free to play. So you know it's going to be hugely popular. Just chatting is always huge. And then, of course, you got Grand Theft Auto, which you're up there with Grand Theft Auto. That's a really good sign on Twitch. Now, this is a specific event. I think everything else was just kind of like another day in the life of, st of streamers kind of thing for uh, these other games out there. But it's just great to see that there still is a huge, in huge interest with Halo. And this is on Super Bowl Sunday, by the way, that we had 90,000 people watching Halo. I think uh, with Raleigh event, I think we peaked around like just over 170,000 or something like that. So uh, and that was also a, you know, a big major event where this was more kind of like a minor event. So not so much on the stakes, not as many teams with involved with this as well. But uh, the next one we do have is coming up in Kansas City, which I might be thinking about attending. We'll probably see what happens with that. But uh, it was definitely a fun match to watch. It definitely just felt like great to see just Halo like back in the top four when it comes to uh, people watching on Twitch, which I know like a lot of people have been sharing the Twitch numbers saying like, how come no one's watch playing this game right now? Well, you know, I just think just like arena shooters just don't do as well as uh, they could have previously. But yeah, again, like I said previously, it's not like a broken record, but it's great to see that uh, Halo is just up there on Twitch, you know, because, yeah, you might be able to blame like the Twitch drops for a reason why people are watching, but people are still watching. People are coming and clicking on it. That's what counts. Now this week's gonna be really important for Halo Infinite because then we get a final chance to get some in concrete information about what's coming with that mid-February update, guys. If you don't remember that like last week, yeah, we had a nice little update. Our boy Patman Gaming kind of reached out to Unishek uh, asking like just clarification, like that wasn't the mid-February update. And Unishek clarified saying correct, yesterday's two matchmaking posts uh, were the main focus of the comms this week. Next week, we'll have more information to share. And this is about the mid-February update. So I think right now they're starting to solidify what exactly is going to be part of this patch. Uh, this is going to be a really important patch, guys, because one, hopefully it fixes the ranks that we talked about earlier. And it's going to be involving a lot of other things when it comes to Halo Infinite. Um, we actually had this blog update from Sketch. We kind of shared some information about it. And it was very insightful to kind of show what kind of stuff they're talking about when it comes to this mid-February update, which... Uh, you know, in this blog update, they first talk about you know fixing BTB. And, you know, we did carry, cover this blog update previously on the channel. If you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel, obviously. Uh, but so this mid-February update, you know, they're going to be looking into things like the economy, armor customization, ranked, cheating, networking, and things like that. We've seen 343 address a little bit of the economy. We haven't seen them really touch much on armor customization, uh, but they touched on rank and it kind of broke. Hopefully, it gets fixed again. Uh, cheating we haven't heard much, but networking was the most recent patch that we had, uh, which hopefully was supposed to kind of fix up the desync issue. I haven't had like any time to play since the update, honestly. Um, but when I do get a chance to kind of sit down and play, which I usually do on my streams, which we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday, if you want to jump in, feel free to do so. We do that every Tuesday and Thursday evening, just streaming with the community, playing games and stuff like that. So hope to see you there. Link in the description down below, by the way. Uh, so once we get some actual information about this, I will definitely share it with you guys on the channel here uh no news yet on what specifically is what they we just kind of know generally like what i just shared with you guys right now uh now just a quick update i will be out of town from the 16th to the 20th so if you want to catch that information most likely i'll be able to share it on my community page which this community page is a great source if you want to just get some information real quick or just know like something happened uh this is so usually i'd use this whenever like things like uh, happen just happened like news wise i want to share it with you guys and then make a video about it as soon as possible and i also reach out to you guys here to you know ask questions for like those q a videos i like to do uh if i put out a video that i really think you guys need to watch i'll make sure to share it on here so in case the youtube algorithm doesn't want to show you but in case it doesn't show up in your sub box you also gotta know that i do post on this community page quite often asking you guys some questions sharing information so Definitely want to subscribe to the channel. This would be a way to catch up with these blog posts or whenever they do go live. And this is most likely where I'll be able to share the information with you guys. So again, if you want to catch it as soon as it does happen, tap subscribe. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.